Materials are the matter or substance that objects are made from. We use a wide range of different materials daily in our everyday lives. These might include metal, plastic, wood, glass, rubber, fabric, stone and chemicals. Each material can be used to make a range of different things. For example, wood can be used to make different things like a pencil or a chair. Can you think of something else that is made out of wood? A table, a door, a chopping board and even our house. An object can be made out of different materials used together. Take a look at the skateboard for example. Its plank is made with wood, the screws and bolts are made with metal and the wheels are made with rubber. Now let us understand some different types of materials. The first most widely used material is wood. We get wood from trees. It is hard and strong. Can you think of some objects that are made with wood around us? A bed, a basket, a chopping board, pencil, catapult, a door, cupboard, a house, chair and table all are made with wood. Second type of material is metal. We get metal from earth. It is hard, very strong and shiny. There are many types of metals. Examples iron, gold, silver, copper. Now can you think of some things that are made of metal around us? A knife, a saw, a wrench, lock and keys, your car, your bicycle, even the kitchen sink, the scissors, a small screw, your mama's gold bangles and other jewelry and kitchen tools like a grater all are made with metals. So basically things that are strong, durable and water resistant are usually made up of metals. Third type of material is glass. Glass is made from silica or sand. It is hard, transparent and fragile or breaks easily but it is water resistant. Now can you name a few things that are made up of glass around you? The glasses, cups and saucers, plates and dishes, cola bottles, jars and canisters, the looking glass, your eyeglasses, the glasses of the binoculars and also the mirror all are made with glass. Did you ever wonder why we make window panes with glass? Well, the obvious answer to this would be because glass is transparent so light can easily come in and you can see outside. It is water resistant so rain will not come in and it is fragile enough so that you can break it in case of an emergency or need. So that is why we use glass in our window panes. Let's move on to the next material. The fourth important material used in our everyday lives is rubber. We get rubber from trees and plants. It is strong, stretchy, durable and most importantly it is waterproof. Now can you name a few things made out of rubber around you? 
tires or wheels of the cars, your gum boots, a piano boot, basketball, eraser, hot water bag, and your gloves all are made with rubber. Fifth type of material used to make numerous things around us is fabric. Fabric can be of cotton, silk, wool or synthetic. The sources of these fabric is we get cotton from the cotton plant, silk from the silk worm, wool from sheep and the synthetic fabric is made with chemicals in factories. Now let us take a look at how fabric is used to make things in our day-to-day -day lives. Curtains, carpet, sofas, dolls, teddy bear, bags, t-shirt, jeans, dresses, scarf, all are made with different types of fabrics. The sixth type of material is plastic. Plastic is a man-made material. It is made in factories with chemicals. It is durable and waterproof. Plastic is everywhere around us. It has replaced many kinds of materials in the making of things. Can you think of a few things made up of plastic? The laundry basket, your rubber ducky, your block toys, a carry bag, bottles, recycle bin, comb and the sprayer are all made up of plastic. The seventh type of material that we use in the making of the things that we use in our day-to-day -day lives is chemical. A chemical substance is any material with a known chemical composition. A chemist works in a lab upon these chemicals to create a wide variety of things. Now, can you think of a few things made up of chemicals that you use in your day-to-day -day lives? Medicines, injections, bleach, soap, fertilizers for plants and trees, floor and bathroom cleaners, hand wash, sanitizers, creams and lotions, shampoos, dishwash soap and even makeup are all things that are made from chemicals. Eighth type of material around us is mud. Mud is a mixture of water and any combination of soil, silt and clay. Now let us see what do we use mud for. Can you name a few things made with mud around us? Firstly, it is used to make the walls of a kacha house or a hut. Mud is baked in a furnace to make bricks from which walls of a pakka house are made. In the garden, the planter pots are made with the mud. Even the pots of kitchen including jars and canisters are also made with mud sometimes. Mud can also be used to make idols, totems and statues. The last, the most important primitive type of material that has been used for ages you'll be learning about is stone. We get stone from earth and rocks. It is very hard and durable and strong. Let's see what do we make with stones? During the prehistoric times, stone was used by the early man to make his home, that is caves, and also all the tools required for his living. Stone has been used to make fountains, buildings like prehistoric buildings, Chichen Itza, palaces and mansions, sculptures and also the stone furnaces. 
Time for revision. We use a wide variety of different materials daily. Metal, plastic, wood, glass, rubber, fabric, stone and chemicals. All are different kind of materials. Friends, if you like this video, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel for more such videos. I'll catch you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.